It's time for Rick Bentley's TV Beat television program. Stay tuned for former Fresno Bee media and entertainment writer Rick Bentley as he brings the TV Beat column to television with the latest news of what's happening in local radio, television, and more. And now, here's Rick Bentley. Good evening and welcome to uh, another edition of TV Beat with Rick Bentley. This is a show, as I've told you in the past, designed to keep you updated on what's going on in local TV, radio, and film. Now, I don't know about you, but I've not been that impressed with new network TV shows. There's still one more to launch as CBS will put the updated version of SWAT on November 2nd, once their schedule of NFL football games is, has ended. I've seen it, and while it's not bad, it's also not great either. Last year, both This Is Us and Designated Survivor were standouts. There's been nothing to reach that level this year, but more on that later. I'll take a break now, and after the break, I will tell you how you can see some of your favorite TV performers in person. Also, later in the show, I will finally fulfill a promise I have been making over the past few weeks. I'll be back in just a moment. Well, I'm going to the beach where I belong. Warm sand, cool surf, and hot new rides. Shockwave, the crazy spinning wave of fun. And Typhoon, launching you six stories above the boardwalk, upside down. The admission free Santa Cruz Beach Boardwalk is open daily. At the Santa Cruz Beach Boardwalk, in the warm California sun. Boardwalk! Hi, I'm Joan London. Today's senior living communities have never been better and nobody understands your options like the advisors at A Place for Mom. A Place for Mom is a free service to help you find a place that fits your parents' budget, needs, and personalities. Call today, A Place for Mom. You know your family, we know senior living. Together, we'll make the right choice. Call A Place for Mom to get your free ebook on financing senior care. Call 1-800-245-0490. Hi, I'm John Florell, the Fuller Brush Man, knocking on your screen to bring you the best products you've ever seen. Introducing Roto Sweep, the hard floor sweeper from the Fuller Brush Company. It's a rotating broom with its own dustpan that puts the power to clean up any mess right in the palm of your hand. With no cords, bags, or batteries to recharge, as Roto Sweep rolls across the floor, it gobbles up more and more. Whether it's wet or dry, you gotta give this a try. The secret are the triple rotating brushes that loosen, lift, and channel the dirt and debris right into the onboard dustpan. Call or go online to get the original Roto Sweep for just $19.99. The original Roto Sweep is from the Fuller Brush Company, making quality products you've trusted since 1906. Call or go online right now, and we'll also include this handheld Roto Sweep. It's yours as a special bonus, just pay a small fee. Call or go online to buyrotosweep.com to get yours. Protecting your home and family is as easy as Safeco. It's easier than this, or this or even this. For over 30 years now, Safeco has been the local company offering simple protection to homes and businesses. They service and monitor most systems, so you don't have to resort to this. Protecting your home or business is as easy as Safeco. If you're looking for an in-ground safe, record safe, or depository safe at unbelievably low prices, call Havens to the rescue. If you want a gun safe, large or small, at amazing saving, call Havens to the rescue. If you need to protect your precious valuables from fire and theft, call Havens to the rescue. For alarm monitoring, installation, locks, keys, and a huge selection of safes at great prices, there's just one thing to remember. Call Havens to the rescue. Well, there's not a lot of news to share this week, so I'll, I'll just take a moment to share another pet peeve I have with local television news. I'm getting really tired of seeing a reporter or anchor doing a special report where they are doing nothing more than redubbing the audio. This is a real common practice when it comes to medical stories. The local reporter makes it sound like the story is local when in fact it was produced in a different market. They do this because there's really no way one market is going to have enough local medical news to fill the program. But it feels like fraud because it's never mentioned the story really unfolded somewhere else. 
KFSN's Warren Armstrong did one of those special reports on an all-girls tackle football league. The moment the reporter fails to mention where the story is taking place is a clue that all they're doing is a narration of somebody else's work. That would have been like me taking a story someone else had written and putting my byline on it. There's a huge ethics questions here. Okay, let's, let's get to local news. The dates have been announced for the Dancing with the Stars live Light Up the Night tour. Now, uh, this is an all-new production showcasing every style of dance seen on the ABC show from salsa to waltzes. The show will feature group numbers plus original pieces choreographed by Emmy-winning choreographer Mandy Moore, not the actress, the choreographer. I know the show is very popular in Fresno, and those of you who are loyal watchers who want to see the show, the closest stop will be at the Stockton Arena on March 8th. I'll let you know if there are additional dates added. Now, among the dancers scheduled to be part of the tour are Lindsay Arnold, Alan Burston, Sharna Burgess, Whitney Carson, Emma Slater, Sasha Farber, Jenna Johnson, Haley Herbert, and Brandon Armstrong. Now, the October 17th edition of Jeopardy featured a contestant from Connecticut named Fran Freed. Now, Fran actually lived in Fresno for several years working as a copy editor while I was at the Fresno Bee. Now, Fran's Jeopardy game is one of the strangest I've ever seen. Going into Final Jeopardy, Fran and one other contestant were tied for the lead with $12,300. The returning champion had struggled all day, and he had only $1,000. Okay, here's the weird part. When all three missed the question on Asian geography, the only one with money was the champion who had uh, lost everything but $1. It was nice to see a local face, but sad to see Fran fail to win a game in such a bizarre manner. Now, for the record, the only other win with a total of $1 was on January 19, 1993. All right. I would not be here if it wasn't for my guest this week. It was Gary Cocola's idea for me to bring what I was doing in print to the television format. So he's the guy you can blame or thank. What you might not know is that Cocola has built a, a very interesting television empire that includes this station. He's done it by looking at what is coming next to TV. And that's what I want to talk to him about tonight. Thanks for joining me, Gary. Thank you for having me. It's yeah. a pleasure to be here. Yeah. I know you got a lot going on, but before we get to that stuff, as I always do with this segment real quick, I want to get a little bit of information about you. Okay. What got you into TV? Well, it's many years ago. There was a guy who, who uh, really got me into the business. His name was Al Radka. Oh. He was a famous Fresno radio and TV personality back in the 50s and the 60s. I was a, a young teenager going to San Joaquin Memorial High School, <laughs> and I got to appear on his first television show on the old Channel 12. Wow. And that's what that's how I got started in the industry. Well, that's... but. What built this in? I mean, well, what, you it, just... it's a long, long story. In fact, people have encouraged me to write a book about well, it. Well, I would think so. And uh, I'm hoping to do that someday. But uh, it really has been a labor of love. I, I've always loved broadcasting. I, I've enjoyed being in the broadcasting business. Love the people I meet. Uh, always trying to come up with new ideas. You have to reinvent yourself because it's constantly changing. Yeah. And so that's that's kind of been my mantra. What what. Uh, someone else is not doing, I try and do. Yeah, and a lot of people don't know that you, you just don't only have TV stations in Fresno. I mean, we obviously care about that more than anything else, but your reach goes far beyond the state. And well, Fresno's home. Right. I was born and raised here, but we do have stations in Bakersfield and Sacramento, Salinas, Monterey, San Luis Obispo, Santa Maria, and then we have a cluster in Boise, Idaho. Wow. Does it mean a lot of travel for you, or do you just it, let somebody else do the... I do. I let someone else do the traveling, but I do go and visit the other markets from time to time. But uh, I'm currently living on the Monterey Peninsula, and so I do come back to Fresno, as I did this week. And I'm here for about seven days, and then I go back. Okay. Hey, listen, when you write that, that book, yes. I've got a great title. All right. The Man Who Brought Rick Bentley to TV. <laughs> it works for me. You should try I, that. I think it's a great idea. <laughs> All right. I have to take a break, as you well know. Okay. So we'll be back in a moment, and I'll talk some more with Gary Cocola. Thanks. If you're looking for an in-ground safe, record safe, or depository safe at unbelievably low prices, call Havens to the rescue. If you want a gun safe, large or small, at amazing savings, call Havens to the 
rescue. If you need to protect your precious valuables from fire and theft, call Havens to the rescue. For alarm monitoring, installation, locks, keys, and a huge selection of safes at great prices, there's just one thing to remember. Call Havens to the rescue. Hi, I'm John Florell, the Fuller Brush Man, knocking on your screen to bring you the best products you've ever seen. Introducing Roto Sweep the hard floor sweeper from the Fuller Brush Company. It's a rotating broom with its own dustpan that puts the power to clean up any mess right in the palm of your hand. With no cords, bags, or batteries to recharge, as Roto-Sweep rolls across the floor, it gobbles up more and more. Whether it's wet or dry, you gotta give this a try. The secret are the triple rotating brushes that loosen, lift, and channel the dirt and debris right into the onboard dustpan. Call or go online to get the original Roto Sweep for just $19.99. The original Roto Sweep is from the Fuller Brush Company, making quality products you've trusted since 1906. Call or go online right now, and we'll also include this handheld Roto Sweep. It's yours as a special bonus, just pay a small fee. Call or go online to buyrotosweep.com to get yours. New. We've got the answer. Opinion. We've got the answer. Insight. We've got the answer. AM 1680 is the answer. With news and opinion every morning on The Hugh Hewitt Show. Live and local talk with Jim Franklin at 8. Plus Dennis Prager at 9. Dave Ramsey with Financial Peace, noon till 3. And now the all-new Larry Elder Show, afternoons 3 to 6. Now, Fresno has the answer for conservative news, opinion, and insight. AM 1680, the answer. Well, welcome back. I'm uh, I'm really privileged tonight to have a special guest with me tonight, Gary Cocola. Uh, if you uh, watch any TV in this market, especially if you watch it through an antenna, it's this guy who's bringing you the programming. So uh, first off, for those of us who have switched over to antenna, gotten away from, from cable, I want to thank, thank you, you for that. Thank you. And uh, really was shocked at... Uh, uh, you'd always pitch this that you know you could you can get a lot without having to pay for all that big cable stuff, and I'm now a I'm now a believer. So I I, I really uh, thank you for doing that. Uh, Antenna TV has always been something that a lot of people don't know about. Mm -hmm. They don't realize that they can get a, over a hundred channels for free. You make the investment of a thirty nine dollar antenna, and then after that, it's great. It's just easy free viewing. And if you have an internet connection and you can get all of the over-the-top devices, mm -hmm. uh, Apple, Hulu, Roku, you can watch thousands and thousands of channels. Now. Yeah, I, I have I added Netflix and Hulu to my to my and so I'm you know I'm paying about sixteen dollars a month compared to two hundred and the something. staggering amount. I mean, I'm telling yeah. you, every time the bill doesn't come in for the cable, isn't that I'm, nice? I'm very happy with that. Yeah, but that, nice? that being said. You're always innovating. You're always looking for the next big thing. And you've got I, something really interesting coming along. We, we came up with an idea called The Loop. We're starting uh, to do this uh, as we speak within the next few weeks. It'll hit the air on our channel 32.3. And The Loop was a, an idea that I got because there isn't enough local TV, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. So this is going to give folks the opportunity to do their own programming on The Loop. And the reason it's called a loop is because those shows will not just play one time. They'll be looping. So someone that has their own local show would be able to have it on maybe three or four times a day in a 24-hour period. Right. And uh, so we're looking for hosts for uh, the TV loop uh, coming soon. Mm -hmm. And they'll be watching uh, our channels to see how they can get a hold of me and audition to be a host on The Loop. Yeah, and I'll certainly update people along the way as soon Great. as that information becomes available. We'll talk about it here. But you say people can have their, you know, have their own TV program. I mean, don't you need training? Don't you need you know, years it, of you know, millions of dollars? What's and, interesting, Rick, if you go to YouTube today, there are so many people now that are just sending and uploading video to YouTube, and YouTube mm. has made a lot of TV stars. True. And so I'm hoping in our market, in the Fresno DMA, we call it, that there is someone out there that's a, a, a star that's waiting to happen, and we will give them the platform to become the next great 
Ryan Seacrest. Yeah, but Gary, doesn't this go back to the to the really the heart of television when it came on? Yes, was it was it was to be an outlet yes. for people to to share their ideas and their thoughts and their and, 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 and it, it kind of went away. And yeah. local local TV is really where it's at because you can get all the national stuff on satellite or cable. Right. But where do you get local? I mean, when you look at the other Fresno stations, other than maybe Great Day right. on Channel 26 right. in the morning with Kopi and Kim, uh, where are the, the local shows? How many, other than yours now, well, how many local shows are there on television in Fresno? Yeah. And it makes no sense because we're in an era right now, because of digital and yes. everything, that this is, it doesn't take a massive studio it and these not. big, heavy cameras to move around and all that sort of stuff. It does I mean, not. this is a... a this is a massive studio, <laughs> but but uh, but compared to some of the network stuff, this is not a big no, studio. No, this is not. This is uh, you know really it's a closet so to speak. Mm -hmm. As long as you have cameras and and uh, good operators and, uh, and microphones, uh, you can do this. Anybody can do this. Yeah, I want to get back to the hosts for this loop thing. Okay. Now, I mean, are, are you gonna? Uh, you know, it always seems like those hosts have to be young and good looking and thin and all that sort of, is, are you going to limit? No, wait, no. Uh, this is open to any age. Um, it's open uh, to uh, male, female, grandma, grandpa, mm. uh, whoever wants to show up for the audition, uh, we're going to give them a cue card to read and, and then we're probably going to put their name in a hopper and just dial it around and pull out some names and then that doesn't mean that the, the rest of the folks are, are not going to have an opportunity, right. but we'll keep rotating and changing as we go, and that'll give their friends and family the opportunity to see them on TV. Yeah, well, and you've obviously proven that you're willing to look past the, the norm oh, absolutely. with me. I am certainly, I've said this from the very beginning, I have a, I have a face made for print, and, and it's been a big adjustment. You know, but, but again, you, you were willing to, to look past you want, what you wanted was the information that could be brought. You know, Rick, the, the your, your column, when I read uh, the Fresno Bee, when you were at the Bee, I, I could learn so much about what was happening in the Fresno market in radio and television mm -hmm. by reading your column. And with you going away from doing that, I said, where am I going to get my information? How do I know what's going on? So that's why I invited you to come on and do the show. Well, and I thank you because I, I still feel like Every time I talk to people, they really are invested in television. They they they, they love their television. They, they want do. to know what's going on. So, well, thanks for this update. As the, more information comes out about the loop, we'll, I will be glad to move that on and let people know thank about you. it. Thank you. Appreciate but, it. Nice uh, being here tonight. Thank you. I've got to take another break. Okay. We've got to keep paying those bills. Yeah, so, right. All right. I'll, I'll be back in just a moment to to finally take care of a promise that I've given you years, uh, weeks and weeks ago. <laughs> Great news if you like music like this. It's KJOY, KJOI, with Fresno's all time favorites, a unique variety of the music you know and remember. Tell us we're too young. Great songs. Great memories. KJOY, KJOI, 104.3 FM, on TV channel 16.1 and on the web at KJOI.org. Hi, I'm John Florell, the Fuller Brush Man, knocking on your screen to bring you the best products you've ever seen. Introducing Roto Sweep, the hard floor sweeper from the Fuller Brush Company. It's a rotating broom with its own dustpan that puts the power to clean up any mess right in the palm of your hand. With no cords, bags, or batteries to recharge, as Roto Sweep rolls across the floor, it gobbles up more and more. Whether it's wet or dry, you gotta give this a try. The secret are the triple rotating brushes that loosen, lift, and channel the dirt and debris right into the onboard dustpan. Call or go online to get the original Roto Sweep for just $19.99. The original Roto Sweep is from the Fuller Brush Company, making quality products you've trusted since 1906. Call or go online right now, and we'll also include this handheld Roto Sweep. It's yours as a special bonus, just pay a small fee. Call or go online to buyrotosweep.com to get yours. Hi, I'm Joan London. Today's senior living communities have never been better, and nobody understands your options like the advisors at A Place for Mom. A Place for Mom is a free service to help you find a place that fits your parents' budget, needs, and personalities. Call today. A Place for Mom. You know your family. We know senior living. 
Together, we'll make the right choice. Call A Place for Mom to get your free ebook on financing senior care. Call 1 800 245 0490. Well, and we're back. I've been promised you that I would review the new TV shows for the fall season, and I will keep that promise starting tonight by taking a look at the ABC network. Now, the network launched five new shows this fall, including Inhumans, The Good Doctor, The Mayor, Kevin Probably Saves the World, and Ten Days in the Valley. Now, the best of these five is The Mayor, a comedy that looks at what happens when a, a young rapper in the uh, Bay Area runs for mayor. Now, he's doing that as a publicity stunt, but then he wins. Now, the show works because of the energy of Brandon Michael Hall, the kid who wins the election, and a strong supporting cast led by Glee graduate Leah Michelle. Let's take a look at the mayor. If you haven't heard the name Courtney Rose, you're not alone. He's a 27-year-old struggling rapper who's adding a new title to his playlist, candidate for mayor. So, yeah, it turns out it's super easy to run for local office. Step one, get 200 signatures. Step two, don't be a felon. And I don't go to trials next year. I'm just playing my I love you. In the name of Jehovah, why are you doing this? Yo, you know, when I was your age, there wasn't all this trash here. Me and my boys, we would come here to freestyle. I know I'm a good rap, but nobody's ever even heard of me. Just you watch. This campaign is going to change all of that. If you want to get discovered, just do it the old-fashioned way. Waiting for a nice old Jewish man to give you his business card. Courtney Rose's entire campaign is a stunt. Voters won't fall for that. Not in America. Here we are. Big debate. I'm proud to have led the effort to restore the city commons, which is now Whoa. well. Hold up. Have you actually ever been there? I mean, there is so much trash. Bravo gave it a second season. <laughs> Don't tell us about our reality, because we live our reality every day. Courtney Rose, out, peace! My mixtape is getting some crazy love. What's happening? It appears as if Courtney Rose is mayor of Fort Gray. What, what happened? You the mayor. Well, This has to be a mistake. What do I do? You want my two cents? Uh, you serve for one day only. That way you can get the scissors. The scissors. The, the giant scissors they give mans to cut ribbons. It's politics 101. Yeah, the scissors, yes, I am, because I'm the fire! Wait, where is it? It just means that we're going out to the fire escape to have a talk. I can see how it can be a little confusing. Miss Dina, you can't yell fire at That's black people like that. Say. I'm skittish. You put your name on a ballot. In this country, that means something. You rap because you critique the status quo. Maybe, maybe now you can actually change it. I know what I have to do. Okay. Do you want to say it first, or you don't want me to say it? Just are you sure kidding me right now? Page. OK, we'll we compare notes later. Yeah, yes, you know who you are. Let me help you. I know it needs to get done, and I know how to do it. A diamond in my eye. People are tired of hearing what phonies intend to do. We can transform the city. I think I got this. Damn right you do. I am your mother. And I believe in you. Everyone else in the world ain't your mama. You have something special. Oh, well, what's that? Me. You are a lot of things, Courtney Rose, but you're not hopeless. Come on, we gotta get you some sleep. It might be your last chance for the next four years. Wait, this job is four years? Someone is planning their first 100 days. That's our role. Let me see. Okay. That's actually really impressive. Oh, I'm right? really glad you said that. It looks like four gray is in some pretty good hands. The other really good show for ABC this fall is The Good Doctor. Now, the series looks at what happens when a hospital hires a surgeon who is autistic. Now, that young surgeon is played by Freddie Highmore, who had just finished the series Bates Motel, who's great as Norman Bates. Uh, I love that this series stresses how those dealing with issues in their lives can be productive if only given an, a chance. The only question that keeps haunting me is that while a, a surgeon with autism would be able to, uh, to really focus on the tiniest details of surgery, surgery seems to me to be a world with gray areas. And I'm not certain how well this good doctor would handle those. But the show is from the same people who brought you House, and they made that crabby doctor likable. Now, Ten Days in the Valley brings Kira Sedgwick back to television. She plays a single mom television producer whose daughter is kidnapped. Now, this is only a 10-episode series, so it's difficult to compare it to shows struggling to make 22 episodes in a season. But Sedgwick is very good, and there won't be a need to wait to, uh, say, May to get answers to the mysteries. 
Kevin probably saves the world, follows a young man who has been tasked by God with finding some good souls. <laughs> good luck. That young man is played by Jason Ritter. It's a very sweet show, which makes it weird that it's scheduled at 10 o'clock at night. Uh, I don't give the show strong odds of survival because of that. And then that brings me to the biggest disappointment of the fall TV season. Marvel's had some great success with turning comic book characters into films and TV series, but the Inhumans is far from successful. It's a jumble mess that makes a comic book geek like me wonder why they let this thing on the air. I'm a big fan of Sorinda Swan, who plays Medusa, and I like that comic book character a lot. But not even Swan can make this script seem like it makes sense, and they've destroyed her character. If it hasn't been canceled since I taped this show, it will soon be canceled. Now, that's it for ABC. Next week, I'll take a look at CBS. I have to take a break now. I'll be back with a final word. Great news if you like music like this. It's KJOY, KJOI, with Fresno's all time favorites, a unique variety of the music you know and remember. Tell us we're too young. Great songs. Spreading the news. Great memories. KJOY, KJOI, 104.3 FM, on TV channel 16.1, and on the web at KJOI.org. News. We've got the answer. Opinion. We've got the answer. Insight. We've got the answer. AM 1680 is the answer. With news and opinion every morning on The Hugh Hewitt Show. Live and local talk with Jim Franklin at 8, plus Dennis Frager at 9. Dave Ramsey with Financial Peace, noon till 3. And now the all-new Larry Elder Show, afternoons 3 to 6. Now, Fresno has the answer for conservative news, opinion, and insight. AM 1680, the answer. Hello, welcome to Alberto's restaurant. Come on in. At Alberto's you will have a new experience at great Italian dining. We have fantastic pasta dishes like fettuccine alfredo and eggplant parmesan. And you have to come in and try the chicken marsala and the calamari con limone. I take great pride in everything I prepare and I know you will love it. And what's dinner without a little wine? At Alberto's we have a great selection of wines to go with your dinner. Alberto's Restaurante in Pacific Road. Come and see us tonight. Salute. Salute. Hi, I'm John Florell, the Fuller Brush Man, knocking on your screen to bring you the best products you've ever seen. Introducing Roto Sweep, the hard floor sweeper from the Fuller Brush Company. It's a rotating broom with its own dustpan that puts the power to clean up any mess right in the palm of your hand. With no cords, bags, or batteries to recharge, as Roto Sweep rolls across the floor, it gobbles up more and more. Whether it's wet or dry, you gotta give this a try. The secret are the triple rotating brushes that loosen, lift, and channel the dirt and debris right into the onboard dustpan. Call or go online to get the original Roto Sweep for just $19.99. The original Roto Sweep is from the Fuller Brush Company, making quality products you've trusted since 1906. Call or go online right now, and we'll also include this handheld Roto Sweep. It's yours as a special bonus, just pay a small fee. Call or go online to buyrotosweep.com to get yours. Hi, I'm Joan London. Today's senior living communities have never been better and nobody understands your options like the advisors at A Place for Mom. A Place for Mom is a free service to help you find a place that fits your parents' budget, needs, and personalities. Call today, A Place for Mom. You know your family, we know senior living. Together, we'll make the right choice. Call A Place for Mom to get your free ebook on financing senior care. Call 1-800-245-0490. Well, that's this week's show. I want to give a, a very special thanks to Gary Cocola for agreeing to stop by and chat about what's going on in local television. I also want to thank ABC for the use of that clip. As always, I'd also want to thank you for tuning in. Your support is so greatly appreciated, whether you found the show for the first time or you've seen every episode. God bless you for that. I still need you to spread the word that TV Beat with Rick Bentley is being broadcast on KGMC Channel 43.5. Now check out my website at www.rickbentleytvbeat.com for other details about the show. It's very important to hear from you. To contact me, I'll just send an email to rb at rickbentleytvbeat.com. So until next week, happy TV viewing. I hope you tune in again, and uh, I will update you on some more of the new fall TV shows. So until then, have a good night. <laughs>